Hey everyone, this video is going to cover setting up the Omnichannel Engagement Hub in around 7 minutes. So I hope you enjoy it. So use an existing trial, that's the key message here, is go ahead and ensure that you're using an existing trial. Go to trials.dynamics.com and put your details in there and you can see that you've got to get a notification to say that you've actually already got an account. No problem, sign in. Go ahead and authenticate if you need to. And then what it's actually doing is it's saying you've actually already got Dynamics 365, but this is essentially the Omni channel right now. It needs to go ahead and add a trial tenant to your existing tenant that will then go ahead and link Omni channel. So you can see that we're now setting this up. Now it's going to load the old Dynamics 365 app homepage, absolutely no problem. What you're then going to do is you need to go ahead, you can check that the customer service hub is working, but you need to and navigate to the admin center and go ahead and just check your active users. Ensure that you're on there, ensure that you've actually got uh, the uh, Power BI Pro license and the customer engagement plan. If not, go ahead and go do, uh, get the Power BI Pro license. Go to your admin center, you go to all admin centers, go to admin.portal.com, go to all admin centers and select Dynamics 365. Now, this is your extra trial. You can see me selecting this right now. This is going to be your extra trial added into your tenant. You can see that I've got a bunch of different environments. Go to applications. And then what you're going to find is you're going to find the omni channel for customer service. Now, the big frustration here is not having this appear. And it's important that you follow the steps in this video. Clicking the omnichannel setup is going to start the first run experience. Select add org and go ahead and select the organization that you want to uh, enable omnichannel for and follow the wizard through, essentially enabling all the different channels that are now active. So chat, SMS and Facebook Messenger. Go ahead and click through and then all the way to the end, it's going to summarize that and click the check mark. And this can take a while. Um, sometimes it can take up to five minutes. So I've obviously sped that up. And then you're going to get set up in progress. And then um, you're you're going to essentially leave this uh, for a while and, and go ahead and, and let that be successful. And once it has, you can see that you've got the administration, the channel integration framework, and the actual customer uh, service omnichannel app. So the actual Omnichannel app is the app that your agents are going to use. So you can see this right now. This is essentially where the uh, where the actual notification is going to come up. There's a, a pending chat waiting, uh, but the administration is actually where things are set up. So you can see that I've opened that now. Go ahead and open administration, and there's just some setup that you need to do. Users is going to be one of them. You need to actually set yourself up as a user, even though you think you're system admin. You're not a full system admin. You actually need to add some security roles. So you can see that there's no uh, no users there. You can see that there's actually some uh, background application users, but that still doesn't meet our needs for our demo. So there's a few things that you, you're going to need to do. So you need to go into your Omnichannel for customer service uh, app. Go ahead and click share, and this is where you get your security settings. Go ahead and open the app security settings to go ahead and share the app. And then you're going to see like just the same kind of screen as no users, but you're actually going to go ahead and actually find yourself. So change the view. Now I find it better going to full access users. This is where I find myself. You can see myself there. Go ahead and select that. And just like normal, go ahead and click manage roles. Now you're going to then see the omni channel roles. Now this is really, really important. You can see them there and you can go ahead and uh, select them. Essentially you can select all of them for the purpose of just setting this up so you can see it all working. But the idea is that those will be granular uh, in production. So go ahead and apply those security roles to uh, to your environment. And then actually in quite it's quite quick that you can then see it. So you can see that they're then I'm available. I've even got the green tick. So you can see it's all working fantastically now in my environment. So again, just a few more setup uh, tasks that you need to do before you're ready to go ahead and try and actually demonstrate the basic omni-channel features. So go ahead and uh, click chat on the channels and click new when we need to make a chat 
channel um, widget. So go ahead and just again set this up really simply. Name, just set the language. You've already got the work stream set up for you. So there is actually already some scaffolding in place for the trial. So go ahead and select the language that you want this to be in. D don't change anything else for the time being. We just want to set this up and save that. And what that's going to do, that's actually going to generate your code snippet, which you can see there on the right hand side. So the idea is that go ahead and take that and put it on a website and you can then go ahead and get this uh, actually visible on your website. So I've actually done this for my blog. You can see this here. I've actually just embedded it into one of my blog pages and you can then actually see the let's chat icon, which actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to click that. So go ahead and open that up and you can actually start to have this interaction. It's actually really easy to do the demo. Go ahead and actually type it in the chat and you can actually see the notification that someone's going to be with them shortly. So almost there go ahead and uh, just open that omnichannel agent dash dashboard and you're gonna then see the notification that you just entered into your website come up on the screen now this is where it you know it really starts to come together so you'll just be able to see that uh, see that come up uh, and you can actually see the different uh, the actual different tabs that you can access to but we can cover that in another video there it is go ahead and click accept and then what's going to happen is a few things happen. The actual chat window opens, a new conversation's created, and you can start to actually interact with the customer uh, straight in, in the application. And you can see me going between the different screens here where the actual agent persona is talking and you've got the customer actually interacting with uh, with the customer on the, on the other page. And this is unauthenticated. There's no authentication here. Now, that one of the big tasks for demonstrations and to go ahead and actually add notes and do a lot of the other stuff is to associate it to a contact so you can go ahead and do that straight on that conversation page and that's when you can start to open up a few different things as well even for the unauthenticated conversations you can actually now actually say actually this is Yvonne for example so hope you've really enjoyed setting this up so I deliver content Tuesdays and Thursdays subscribe to my channel to not miss a thing